Okay, guys, I'm here today with Gary Tono. Huge honor for me. Guys, Gary's going to show us here one no-gi principle that every jiu-jitsu practitioner should know. He just showed to me, and it's very, very cool. And uh, go ahead, Gary. All right, guys. So what we're going to take a look at today is a multi-directional attack principle. This is going to be the basis of my next DVD. We're going to talk about principles of the sport. I think it's valuable sometimes instead of just looking at arm bars, we learn a principle like lever wedges and fulcrum, and then you see, oh, arm bar knee bar. Oh, this is how we apply that principle. So I'm going to show an example of a particular principle today, that multi-directional attack. So when you can only attack in one direction, it can get frustrating when you're trying to do something to your opponent. So if Bernardo goes onto his knees and I'm in somewhat of a guillotine or head front headlock situation, if I just keep trying to throw Bernardo over my head and he understands that it's coming, as I go to try to pull, I can never throw my training partner over my shoulder. Now, Bernardo's pretty big and probably be hard no matter what anyway. But, uh, you know, I'm gonna have a real tough time if that's the only direction I can go. However, the moment I'm able to start moving forward and I can threaten my training partner in a second direction, whether that means trying to trip my training partner by stepping across or snapping his head down and moving behind, okay? As long as I can do something to move forward on my opponent, he has to resist this or he's gonna get attacked in another way. So as he starts coming forward, suddenly attacking in the other direction with Sumigeshi, becomes so much easier. Now that's the bare minimum in my opinion to operate at a high level, being able to attack in two directions. But what happens when we deal with a really tough opponent? He's blocking us in both directions. He's predicting our movements. He knows I'm gonna rock forward and back. We add a third direction, okay? We're here, we're pulling our training partner. He's basing, we're pushing our training partner. He's basing. Now we look to take out an elbow. We lift and elevate from Sumigeshi on the opposite side and we can attack in a third direction, okay? You can add to this north, south, east, west, southwest, northwest, whatever the case may be. We can start adding more and more directions and all of a sudden my training partner can't quite keep up. It's hard for him to predict where I'm gonna go next uh, because I have a multitude of attacks in multiple directions. He never really knows what's coming next. So Gary, like uh, that's pretty much how you think about every single situation in Jiu-Jitsu, right? You always think about like north, south, west, east, yeah, they, right. yeah, I would, I would definitely try to categorize things that way. It just makes things a little easier for me to understand when I'm thinking about where I'm trying to bring my training partner. Okay, and you're showing this entire instructional here all about this, right? All about like how to understand the foundation of no gi jiu jitsu. Yeah, and my what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to take all these lessons, not just about oh this technique, that technique, that technique. We've done this before, you know. I've shown you guys the leg locking DVD. I showed you a bunch of different leg locks that I do. But my objective this DVD is to try to find a way to show you guys as many of the, the principles, as many of the concepts that John has taught me over the years, me and the team over the years, and try to express them and then use the techniques to make it applicable. Make it not just theory that we're going to talk about, but you could see the technique, uh, you know, sorry, you could see the principle live and put in, uh, into color for you. I get to paint that picture for you in several different ways. Now you get to connect the dots across the entire discipline of jiu-jitsu instead of just seeing a concept that re refers to leg locks. I got it. Yeah, and we were just talking here, like we see a bunch of like fundamentals classes of jiu-jitsu with gi, but we don't see many with no gi, right? It mm -hmm. sounds like people hold the no gi almost like as an advanced thing. So how do you mm -hmm. think about it like this? I mean, like, there is a, whole fundamental system about no gi as well right yeah i think so i, I definitely think you know some of these in, in my eyes are fundamentals of the sport uh, and not just no not just no gi but also probably apply to the gi as well um but yeah i would agree with you that that traditionally i remember when i first started training and, and when a lot of people first started training the gi was really all there was you know so your first basic class or whatever the case may be was all in the gi you're learning your collar choke it was like one yep, of your yep, first yep, techniques yep. and things so the fundamentals of the sport were very much geared towards the gi. So yeah, it's nice to get a version of this that's where you have a, a full understanding where it's applicable no gi as well. Yeah, no, and I think like you guys are the ones who are kind of like breaking the rule because everybody heard that in jiu-jitsu, in order to get good no gi, you gotta train with the gi. And you guys are like not training with the gi at all <laughs> and winning everything no gi. So yeah, I think that's pretty much like a, finding this new fundamentals that probably nobody had before. Mm -hmm. Would you say that, is that true? Yeah, been? it's definitely a big piece of the puzzle. I definitely think one of the things that John has done for us over the years uh, that a lot of people fail to do is he's shown us the picture that we're trying to right. complete here. Right. You know, a lot of people, they just get puzzle pieces. Yep. Here's a piece, yep. here's a piece, here's a piece. All right, John does a good job showing the whole picture, 
And then it's like, as we get pieces, we know what we're trying to work towards. You know oh, yeah. what I mean? Oh, yeah. And uh, I think that's what, when you ha allow somebody to understand the principles of the sport before, um, you know, they start getting all the puzzle pieces, it makes things a little bit easier. No, I got it. No, man, that's amazing. So guys, Gary just shot this entire structure all about the fundamentals and the foundation of no gi pretty much, where he pretty much explains like how to think on every situation instead of just like remember the details of, of each situation. So it's going to be at bjjfanatics.com very soon. Maybe by the time you're watching, it's already there. And thanks so much, Gary. Thank you. Boss. Appreciate it. Please help me out to grow my YouTube channel. Just click subscribe. And to watch more videos, just click under see more videos. I hope you enjoyed. BJJFanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jujitsu faster.